don't kick it and catch it, not now. Right, we're good to go, guys. Yep. Hello, welcome to episode seven of the Gabcha Football Podcast, sponsored by Gabcha Inclusive. Today, we've got the greatest football player to live camp ever live in South Australia, Gary McIntosh. Hey, Logan, good to see you. Good to see you too. First question, what was it like playing for Nord back in the day? Uh, look, uh, it was great playing for the great Nord Footy Club. You know, founded in 1878. So, uh, very traditional club and very sad that they're not in the AFL. Yeah, they come. They got they got knocked back a few times. One lot of crows, another work or could you report getting a license early? Yeah, so uh, you know, I might not be alive, but uh, we may eventually see Nord in there because uh, everything keeps changing. Yeah. What was the, what was your best thing about playing footy in the eighties? I oh, look. I think the most enjoyable thing about football is mateship, and I think that's been the the one thing that I've really taken from it is being able to play with good mates and and meet lots of new friends. I think that's yeah. one thing. And then obviously winning grand finals, that's the uh, the other great thing about footy. Also, what was your best grand final Nord in the 80s? Was it the one in 82 against Glenelg or was it the one in 84 against Pollard? Well, they're both good, but 84 was pretty special because we had to come from a long way back. Yeah. So we come back from uh, fifth position. I think we won the flag, so. It was a, a great day. Did you enjoy beating Victoria in the Bicentennial Carnival back in 1988? Uh, yeah, I actually played in that, that game. Um, yeah, look, uh, I didn't mind playing state footy. I thought uh, beating the Vicks was always a good thing because they, they're they pretty big at it, aren't they? Yeah, the Tories. So it was always good to beat them. Turns out that SAT, but a lot of players who came who played in the BFL at that time, Carnahan, Bradley, Platten. Yeah, Motley. There was a whole there was a whole host of them that went to the Victoria and played. Um, yeah, so it was good to play with all them sorts of blokes. So, turns out, in that same time, you were getting offered by four different teams. Uh, what was the what was your decision behind staying in South Australia and Nord in 1986? Um, well, a lot of players were leaving, and um, Nord had always looked after me, so uh, I felt like. Uh, it was important that I stayed. I had no no desire to go and play in Victoria at the time. Leave home, leave your family. Um, so uh, you know, I stayed because of all of those things. What was your junior football club growing up before you went to Nord? Uh, well, I played at Hope Valley as a kid. So yep. I played uh, I played about uh, eight years of junior football at Hope Valley. Yep. Um, played in six winning premierships too as well. So yep. Uh, um, yeah, got some good fond memories there and probably played all my junior football with a, a very good football player from Centrals and North called Peter Creek, who yeah. played over 260 odd games as well. Yeah, speaking of Peter Creek, turns out his, his nephew actually taught, taught me PE for PE in high school years ago. That was a beautiful lead in, wasn't it, to that lucky, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, look, that's not Matt, Matt's Peter's lad. Um, yeah. But uh, no, nah, look, they're a beautiful family, the Creek family. Yeah. Number, what, how do you feel about winning the McGarry in 1994 and 1995? Um, I'm not really into individual awards. Yep. I don't really, um, I don't really rate them much. I think uh, it's a team game and uh, team is the most important thing. Uh, look, it's nice to win individual things, but they don't really, don't really bother me. Team success matters more. I'm with you. What, which one can you put more from any league do you compare yourself to? Oh, never ever thought about that. Lucky, um, I don't know. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't think of anyone that uh, um, was slow and stumpy and playing in the AFL. Yeah, I think uh, the one who could have come close to that and who kept more of the ball was someone like Marcus Bonsapalli. I would have loved to have his height. What is he, six foot three midfielder? Yeah. Cool, oh, that'd be enjoyable, I reckon. Yeah. Which team was your hardest team you played against back in the day? All of them. All teams are hard. You know, I think people always say to me that, you know, you have this massive role with Port Adelaide. Um, but for me, I didn't like either clubs. Yeah. All of them, Glenelg, North. So I think if you dislike one more than the other, you'll be disrespectful to all the others. Yeah. Turns out, turns out Central's in those days, that day had Platten, the Eagles, but Woodville had Blighty, Torrance had a few others. 
Yeah, look, back in the early 80s, the competition was, uh, you know, had a host of really, really good players playing the game. So, yeah, I played against Blighty and played in the state game with Blighty as well. And that was 83? Yeah, in Western Australia. Yeah. So, um, uh, that was, you know, oh, look, you know, I've been lucky enough to play with, with some great players and against some great players.